If you're an Uber and a Lyft driver, I got a question for you. Have you been paid any UI or PUA benefits? UI is unemployment insurance. And that's what you get if you're an employee. And PUA is for pandemic unemployment assistance, and that's the new program for independent contractors. Well, a lot of drivers have not. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you two reasons why it's very difficult to be a driver and collect the unemployment benefits. And there are a bunch of us who are taking legal action against Uber and Lyft for misclassifying us as independent contractors. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you whether I think applying for PUA threatens your legal status. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Friday morning, not as hot today here in Sacramento. But I still gotta drink my Nespresso. Okay, let's get into some background here. So we're drivers. Are we independent contractors or are we employees? That's a question that's raging across the country. Uh, uh, it's in court. Uh, it's gonna be on the ballot here in California in November. So why, 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 why? Well, Uber and Lyft wanna save some money. If they treat us, uh, as they call us independent contractors, they don't have to pay any of the benefits. As a result of that not getting the benefits, there's a ton of drivers who are not getting any benefits yet. It's just this uh, horrible, difficult situation, which I am currently in, and there's nothing I can do about it but wait. Um, another reason, as Mark Potter points out here, is that uh, he says Uber and Lyft has been getting away uh, drastically underpaying its drivers by misclassifying them because each driver has to retain an attorney and pursue their claims individually. So what he's saying there is not only uh, do they save money, but they, uh, by us being independent contractors, they preclude us from getting together to file a, a, a group suit uh, saying, you know, we were misclassified and we're due back wages. Um, so you got to get an attorney. If you're thinking about it, um, right below this uh, video, there's a link to a damage calculator. And I'll tell you my story. Um, I talked with Mark Potter and I went through the damage calculator and it said over like half a million dollars. Now I know that's too big of a number, um, but I thought, well, if I could just get six figures out of it, why not? And they pay all the upfront costs. You don't have to put any money out of pocket. So just click on the link if you're at all curious. If you've done a lot of driving in the last four years, you're an ideal candidate. Uh, okay, reason number one is the benefits are just coming way too slow. Now, I've been looking at the news, and here's what I'm finding in the news. First, we see uh, here in, in, uh, uh, in the country, 2.1 million filed jobless claims, but total unemployment shrinks. So the economy's, op so the economy's opening up, and more, more people are going back to work. But still, that's a huge number. Then we see here... Nevada gig workers frustrated by unemployment system notifications. And they tell the story here. This is the Las Vegas Review Journal. She has tried calling the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Call Center since Saturday. The center is dedicated to adjudicating and helping independent contractors, self employed workers, and gig workers who are short term or temporary workers, usually connected with customers through an online platform such as Uber or Instacart. File for benefits. But after about 30 minutes, the line simply disconnects. Luna said, uh, and I gotta tell you, yesterday <clears throat> I thought, why don't I just call? So in California, you can call between eight and 12. And what happens is you call and you get a message and then they say, due to the volume, we cannot help you today. And, and the line goes dead. So you can keep calling, which I was coached uh, by, by a driver to keep calling. So I kept calling, and once I heard that recording, I hung up, and I called again. And every once in a while, it was about every 10 or 15, it was a different voice. It was a man with a different voice. And that one went, you know, it went all the way to where I could push number one, and then six, and then seven, and then three. And then it said, um, we're going to put you on hold to talk to somebody. But then that same voice came in and said, due to the high call volume, we cannot talk to you now. We are going to disconnect now. <laughs> it's like, this is crazy how frustrating that they've stopped paying me and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it right I can't call I've sent them emails I just gotta wait and this uh, 
this woman uh, in in Las Ve in in the Nevada, same thing. It's just very very frustrating, and I get a lot I get a lot of emails from from people who have seen the videos asking me to help out because it is frustrating because because of our classification, we're not getting money that other people have been getting for two and three months. Now here we see a CNN business article, Uber and Lyft drivers are suing New York State over unemployment benefits. And in that article, it says the Department of Labor, their failure to do so in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, when the difference between receiving unemployment insurance benefit in two weeks rather than two months can determine whether an unemployed New Yorker can put food on the table, is devastating, devastating to thousands of drivers and their families, the overwhelming majority of whom are immigrants. The complaint reads, so that's the problem, right? Because we've been misclassified, we were looked at as independent contractors and they had to create this whole other system. Um, and, and it's taking states a long time to figure it out. And as a result, this guy can't put food on his table and it's, it's, it's not a one-off. This is happening all over the country. Now here's, a, here's something I got from one of our readers um, on my Facebook. Hey Jay, uh, person's a rideshare driver, Rhode Island. Um, I've been concerned about my unemployment. I'm a full-time driver and I'm only receiving $187 uh, in benefits. No way to contact unemployment. Dug out my UI determination. It states that I had 15 days to appeal, but it's been over a month. Can't get anyone on the phone at UI and don't see anywhere in the website where I can send my 1099 or anything. I've been waiting to see something on the website for a while, but nothing. I think I'm getting shorted $399 per week as the most you can get in uh, Rhode Island is approximately 585. Do you have any advice as how I should or can proceed? Seems all my Uber buddies are in the same boat. Please help. Thank you. What can I what can I do? What can anyone do? It's just a very difficult situation and we have Uber and Lyft to thank for it because they've just uh, refused to classify us as employees even though we're treated like employees uh, when we work for them. Number two reason it's kind of difficult is for those of us who have taken legal action against um, Uber and Lyft for back pay, the question is if we file for a PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, we're basically saying we are independent contractors. And is that something that Uber and Lyft can use against us uh, when we go to arbitration, right? So if you look at this article here, it's uh, from CNBC, some Uber Lyft drivers fear companies will use unemployment benefits against them. Well, of course, they probably will try. And then uh, in the article, it says Perez, right? Uh, this is a driver who lives in the city of La Habra Heights, started receiving weekly unemployment payments of 767, like a lot of us have. This accounts for 167 a week from the state and the $600 supplemental funded by the federal government through July. He's afraid that applying for P PUA benefits will cost him thousands of dollars in back pay. He believes he's owed by the right share company for overtime hours as an employee, in addition to setting back the broader driver movement. So that's, uh, that's how a lot of drivers are feeling. They're, they're worried that they're putting their legal case in jeopardy by claiming benefits uh, through the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. So what are the key takeaways here? So the key takeaways here, as far as I'm concerned, is these are desperate times, and if you got to go through the PUA to get your money, that's what you got to do. And I don't see how any arbitrator is going to uh, listen to Uber and Lyft when they say, um, well, he or she uh, claimed to be an independent contractor to get benefits. Um, we were just boxed into a corner, and we had to do what we had to do. I think that's the argument. And uh, several attorneys that I've spoken to agree that it seems very unlikely that anyone's going to uh, take that argument very seriously. Another key takeaway, it's just tough. It's just difficult. Now, I know some drivers are very happy and it's all gone very smooth for them. Um, but I hear a lot of the, the questions and the pleas for help and the, and the, and the confusion and the frustration because there's a lot of it out there because things are moving very slowly. And there's just nothing you can... It's frustrating when you want to take action and you can't do anything right? You got to just sit back and wait. I mean, I'm an action taking guy and I'm like, okay, I'm going to send him an email and I'm going to get a response back. No response. Um, I'm going to call. I called for two hours. All I got was the same recording. It just seemed like, you know, 
what is it Einstein said? Uh, you know, it, uh, uh, and, uh, what is it? Um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So it's, it's just frustrating. And I guess that is the bottom line is uh, it, it's just really frustrating. But we're going to we're going to keep on going. Keep on going. It's going to it's going to it's going to work out in the long run. I do believe that. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You just click on the little thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to our channel, man, are you missing out? Because we put out uh, five five videos a week um, all around the gig economy, things that can help you become a better driver, things that will help you get more government money, all things like that. And once you subscribe, be sure and hit notifications so we can let you know when we're going to do our next YouTube Live. This is Jay Crater. Thank you so much for watching. I love uh, uh, venting and... Uh, I hope you you feel a little uh, cathartic and uh, you got out a little bit of that anger and rage just by listening to me <laughs> talk about how screwed up this whole situation is. You'll go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.